Hey guys, if this is your first visit to the channel, my name is Aaron and this is Help Me DIY. You've probably heard me talk about Rio Toro if this is not your first visit. They are my sponsor that is going to be giving away an E46 BMW. This convertible right here, you can sign up to win it in a link in the description. But today I'm gonna to be talking about and assembling one of their products. This is the GPX 100, otherwise known as the Morpheus. This is a whole new category of computer cases. Rio Toro calls this a convertible or extendable structure. So today I'm gonna unbox this thing and build one. I have never done it before, so I've been really looking forward to it. It's been sitting in my garage here for a couple weeks now, just waiting for me to have the time to build it. It comes in four sections, I'm told. So I'm just gonna take them out and lay them here so we can see exactly what you get in the box. All right, so this section was at the bottom and uh, they were just all stacked up together. Now, you want to probably start with this thing. I'm told that this is essentially a large mouse pad with a quick start guide on it. So here it is, nice and laid out on my workbench here. So it doubles as a quick start guide on how to build it and also protects the surface of whatever you're building it on and the case itself. So we got our assembly instructions right here. So this case is for people that like, you know, doing stuff with your hands, building your own things. So probably people on my channel that enjoy working on cars and doing things like that. So I'm just gonna go through the assembly instructions here and see how easy this is. So assembly starts with section one and this says that section one has the back panel and the bottom panel. And I assume that the way that they were stacked in there are the sections one, two, three, and four. That's the case. Then the uh, pad came in section three. So I'm just gonna remove these from the plastic. Okay, here is section one. We've got uh, this little corner trim piece it looks like. We have these pieces. We can uh, detach this. All right, and then we had two little boxes of hardware. One of them had some thumb screws, some red ones and some black ones. The other one has three different sized small screws. All right, step one says to remove the security thumb screws, which these are the only thumb screws I see on here. On the front and back. So let me remove those. Now this thing is supposed to open up and make an L shape. Ah, look at that, damn. So, here we have this and we get more bonus goodies inside. So let me remove this stuff. And this protective piece. Ah, got a little fan in here. All right, in our new goodie bag, we have, uh, yeah, more of these. All right, so I guess at this point, you have to know whether you wanna build the mini tower or the mid tower. With this case, you have the option of using one to four graphics cards. I'm only gonna be using one or two at the most, so I'm gonna be building the mini tower. But the biggest benefit about this case is that if I decide to expand and uh, do something else with my computing needs, I can just expand it to the mid tower and fit in two additional graphics cards. And I'm told that there's actually a two inch height difference in the two cases. So yeah, you can see from the side that it expands or shrinks. And so I'm gonna guess this one here that has eight slots, I'm gonna replace with this one that has five. It looks like this is just held on with two screws. So I'm gonna remove those. Okay. And with those removed, this comes out. Swap in this one. Now, when that closes down, uh, there's a screw hole right up here on top. All the screw holes line up, so let me reuse these two screws. All right, pretty cool. So yeah, now I'll have all the parts I need to expand this later if I want to. I just love the uh, little details like this, very precision engineering. Everything feels really nice and well-made. The honeycombing on here is really cool, and you can see that when you adjust it to the right size, all the honeycombing lines up as it should, so really nice. 
All right, now we're supposed to tighten uh, this up so that the case is steady. So the two screws that it pivots on, you wanna make sure those are tight. Mine are already pretty tight. And on the side here, you can see uh, two holes on each side and that is adjustable based on what size you go with. So you want to uh, put the two screws there on either side. And I'm gonna put one up on top here. So a really cool thing about this build is a Phillips screwdriver is literally the only thing you need for this project. So of course I got to use my uh, Porsche one. All right, I got the two screws in the side. I'm actually finding this already very therapeutic and relaxing. It's a nice change up from working on dirty cars. Down at the bottom, there are two additional places that you want to put screws so that the case does not fold on you. One on each side down here. All right, this step is not in the quick start guide. I did just cheat, luckily, though, and look at Rio Toro's video on how to assemble this thing. And uh, the next step they have is installing the fan on here. So it does show you a little airflow direction. So the pretty logo stays on the inside of the case. And this is going to get mounted down here. And based on some trial and error, it will become obvious that these are the four bolts for the fan, the largest ones. So with this part facing the back, there's also a little cutout here for the cable to go towards the inside of the case. And there are little slots here, so there is some adjustability on the height of the fan. All right, I think I am ready for section two, so I'm gonna take everything out of here. So the bottom part has little rubber feet down there. I'm gonna drop that down there for the time being. And uh, here is section two. We get that piece, that piece, that piece, and a box that has this box that has this little piece of metal and some more screws. According to our mat, section two is the middle panel that has all of this stuff in there. So tucked up in here, we have another little surprise box. Maybe it's just padding, I don't know yet. Let's see. How do you come out? All right. Slide him out. A nice Rio Toro logo. Ooh, got a zip tie. Some uh, little uh, post screws. Some more of these screws zip ties. Oh man, these are pretty cool. Pinch in, slide out your tray. We got uh, little trays here. And the quick start guide says if you are making the uh, mid tower instead of the mini to install the expansion bracket and I'm gonna guess that that is this because it lines up really nicely to go right here, so three screws, and you have this thing attached. Right here, you can see how they go right back here. And it essentially is just, uh, like it says, an expansion so that this piece will be uh, up higher to where the top of the case will eventually be. And I believe that this piece that comes with it, that little foot here, is going to uh, sit here on the bottom and hold that middle piece that attaches right here with these two tabs. Yes, yes. See that the uh, little tabs here line up with the holes in the bottom. Yes, one screw here, one screw here, and now we have this little assembly. So this piece is gonna go right here. Let me show you. You can actually see where the screws, where we attached the expansions back there, uh, slide right through here. And so these other screw holes line up nicely. So that's where uh, this is going to get screwed into and attached. Okay, so one more piece I think I was supposed to do before this, but uh, it's fine to do it now is to attach this right here because that's going to add two more screw hole points of uh, rigidity for structural integrity so let me add this little piece and for this one i'm going to use these screws they provided because well 
just seems like uh, I'm supposed to. Seems like that might work better. All right, and then once those are on, there are uh, two slots in the front where I can screw that into. So if you are making that mid tower, you would have this attached on the top for your extension and that allows you to actually attach right up here another SSD uh, slot extension so you can have more capacity. All right, I just put this thing on its side because where this little uh, foot is down here, there's actually a place to add a screw, so I'm gonna put a screw in there. Screw is in here. While we're at the bottom, there are two of these little kind of access panels. It's a screen that you can slide off. So uh, that's pretty cool on the top and the bottom, I guess for cleaning and uh, filtering, that's pretty nice. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to section three. This is gonna be the top and the other side. With section three, we get these pieces. We get another box with more hardware. And again, this one has the little security thumb screws that we're gonna have to remove so we can open this up into an L shape. So I'll take both of these off and lift. Ooh. Okay, and again, of course, this is adjustable. We're gonna leave it at the lower height. And this has a really cool uh, Rio Toro LED thing on there. And inside we have more fans. So the first thing I'm gonna do over here is tighten these again and add screws on the side. So I'm gonna line this up where they match here. That's gonna be my mini tower. And if you were making the mid, you'd go up to here. So this side has a little cover on here and I discovered that if you pull it down and out, it will come off. And that is gonna reveal the two places where we need to attach it at the bottom. So the screws go on the very outside holes. The holes that are slightly closer to the inside are actually these posts fit through. So I'm just gonna align these tabs back up and slide that back on. And now it is in place and it covers up the screw holes down there. Okay, let me flip this thing right side up now. And uh, there's a filter on top. It's taped on here. So you're supposed to remove this. Oh, that's kind of nice. Felt slightly magnetic. I'm not sure about that. Ooh, but this is really pretty. We have uh, USB type C's on here, which is very nice to see. A couple USB 3's, headphone, microphone jack, a reset button, some uh, brightness controls, color controls, change the modes, and a power button. So anyway, we're gonna take this now and set it on here. Move this back over to our work surface. All right, line our top up. Okay, let's snap those into place. Let me show you how this is lining up. So the bottom piece tucks right under the little lip of the side. And these line up like that. All around all four corners, I'm just gonna attach screws. Bottom, bottom, and the back top can be secured. And then two more on the uh, front bottom. And on the top of this middle piece, there are two more screws the top of the case to attach it. 
And this bottom bar here for the middle panel also has three places to attach it along the outside. And I also have a little magnetizer, a demagnetizer that makes my screwdriver magnetic. And uh, that comes in super helpful. I guess I should just mention that. I'll just show you what this thing looks like real quick. I'll put a link in the description too. They're really cheap. And if you've never seen them before, you just do this to make your screwdriver magnetic and you can pick up anything or make any tool magnetic. And if you don't want it to be magnetic, you just go in the demagnetizer and now it's no longer magnetic. So if I take a screw and drop it on here, no more magnet. And I just realized that I missed these two spots right here that also hold the middle piece onto the back. All right, now we've got to put the trim pieces on. So uh, it looks like this one just kind of slides on from the top. And then it's got three holes here that line up that we screw it in with. The holes for this trim are pretty big, so I'm going to go with these ones that have like a built-in washer. And those do not screw in at all, so that is not correct. Plan B, let me try these ones. All right, these ones will work. Now, by the way, Rio Toro is in the process of developing more front and side panels so that you can change the color, the look, and even the functionality of uh, what you're building. All right, and this little trim piece goes on the bottom down here. And I'll try the same screws for it. Uh, one of the things that Rio Toro is changing as well, as far as the functionality, is right now the motherboard has to go on the right in this case, and they're going to change it so that you can put it on the left side. So, just uh, I'm super impressed with this case so far. I was just realizing that there have been zero fitment issues, zero stripped uh, screws, um, everything just lined up perfectly, and it's been really nice. And like we saw before for the front panels, there are no tools necessary. They just snap right into place. And we're gonna put this filter back on top. It's super cool. It has magnets all around it. Just line it up, drop it back into place. It's beautiful. So we got one more big part, this and the fans. So they call this thing the cooling bracket and it just slides right in here behind the front. This part is eventually gonna be attached there. Uh, but first, let me show you, it's got these little um, L hooks on it. So it just slides right up against the front. And when you press it on, slide it over, it locks into place. So I can't pull it this way. Just use one screw to attach it right there. All right, I think I am putting these fans in correctly. I think I want this to draw air into the case and I'm gonna, so it mounts like this. So I'm putting them on the outside of the bracket. And these screws are the first ones that have been really hard to get in. Uh, they're just big screws going into this plastic fan housing. So I just kind of had to screw it in a little bit, back it out, screw it in, back it out, just back and forth until I get them all the way seated in there. So I've got the other seven in there. So this is the fans installed in the case. And now I think we can move to section four, which should have the sides. All right, so this is pretty cool. These are the sides and it comes uh, already sized for the mini tower that I'm doing so it looks like if you want the other tower you undo two screws on each side and you slide the parts apart and you're gonna screw them back into those holes uh, it again has this magnetic uh, filter mesh on it for dust filtration 
And if you expand it, you get two extra little sections to put on down there so that uh, no matter which size you do, you have the magnetic stuff for it. And I'm pretty sure it's symmetrical. Either one can be the top or bottom. And it just goes right over here. And because it's Rio Toro, you have some nice red fasteners here, just little thumb screws. So you just attach these on the four corners. And then uh, to get into your case, it's as easy as unscrewing four, depending on which side of the case you want to get into. So no tools are necessary to get in there. And get the other side on. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is it. Case fully built, assembled. Top. I think this thing looks awesome. I cannot wait to get some internal components to actually make my PC build complete and test this thing out. But that is how you build it. So I am super future proof for my PC needs, whether I need new hardware or things like USB-C, everything is ready in this case. Oh, last thing to mention, you can use a mini ATX motherboard or an extended one in this thing. It is extremely versatile. And these are the only parts that I need to store somewhere in case I wanna transform my mini tower into the mid tower. So guys, please subscribe to the channel, follow along, and when I get the components, I will uh, do a little DIY on installing them too and seeing this thing in action. I wanna give a special shout out to Rio Toro for getting me this stuff and I wanna thank them. And to thank you guys, they have given me a special code that you can use to actually get 25% off of this Morpheus case until the end of the year. So an amazing deal. Check out their website at riotoro.com and use code Morpheus DIY to get your discount. So again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.